On Maui, a 49-year-old woman died after she was hit by an SUV. Officials say that she was walking across Pu'unene Avenue near Hololea Street in Kahului. Investigators say that she was not in a marked crosswalk. Speed, alcohol or drugs are not suspected to be factors in that case. A landlord who was killed while evicting a tenant near Ala Moana is being remembered for his kindness. 64-year-old Alvin Matsumoto was beaten to death last month at a property that he managed on Sheridan Street. We spoke with friends who had lunch with him just hours earlier from that. He just said that uh, they haven't been paying, so he wanted to, you know, do the right way to evict them, you know, a typical um, landlord, I mean, um, landlord to tenant. So he didn't want to make any trouble. We're just shocked because we were the last one he spent time with. Was just the type of person that was always just willing to help out and give and um, never had any remorse or anger towards anything. Just very positive. The suspect, Kendall Gray, pleaded not guilty to murder and is being held without bail. The former Schofield soldier was discharged from the mil military just weeks before the beating for undisclosed violations. State law enforcement officers say they cited 10 people for trespassing during a multi-agency sweep of the old Uncle Billy's Hotel in Hilo. Two of those people were also arrested for outstanding warrants. The three-story building on Banyan Drive closed six years ago. But squatters have been a persistent problem filling the place with rubbish, human waste, and other hazards. Maui County residents are being invited to weigh in on new paid parking equipment to be installed on the Valley Isle. The county is hosting an open house from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the county building in Wailuku. Attendees will be able to test the machines, which will be going up at some Wailea and Kihei Beach parks, as well as some locations in Lahaina and Wailuku. Residents and employees can also qualify for free parking or even a permit if they work close by. There's more information online at parkmaui.com. Over the next three days, we are looking at a few morning showers. We've had those throughout the day this morning. A little bit breezy for your Good Friday holiday. It is a state holiday for tomorrow, but we are looking in the first alert for Saturday and Easter Sunday because we've got lighter trades and scattered showers. Our high temperatures will still be in the mid 80s. And check out the wind speeds because we are expecting them to back off a little bit on Saturday, but pick up speed once again for Easter Sunday. Then as we head into the beginning of the coming week, looks like those trade winds are going to be pretty breezy right around 20 to 25 miles per hour. They could get even stronger as we head into the middle of the week. This See It Now digital news brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs, bringing our heart to every moment of your health.